Yo, what's happening out there, guys? Rolizi here back with another solo money glitch video. This one is epic. Well, I don't know about epic, all right? But it's really good. It's super simple, and you guys are going to love it, I promise, all right? So let me get the founders out of the way. Uh, Digital Junkie for the original glitch and G-Twist for the, I guess, the little twist, the workaround. Um, well, not a workaround, but just the way to actually dupe Elegy Retro Customs, okay? We're not duping. We're actually duping Deluxos and Elegy Retro Customs, but at the end of the day, you're getting an LG Retro dupe, okay? You'll see what I mean here in a second. But yeah, this is a solo, 100% solo retro dupe working on Xbox One and PS4 confirmed. No custom plates needed whatsoever. And if you guys had no love for the Deluxo dupe before this glitch, then that will certainly change after this, all right? After you watch this video and do this glitch. A lot of the same steps, but a little twist at the end. So what you're gonna need for this glitch is no friends, it's solo, throw yourself in an invite only session. You need RH8s in a 10 or six car garage, you know, something that's not like the nightclub or the facility, things like that. So uh, I'm actually gonna show you in the video, so don't worry about that. But you also need a Deluxo in another 10 or six car garage. Uh, in the nightclub, you need at least level B2, all right? You need one of those garages so that you can store cars. And in B2, you need a retro custom in there, the car that we're going to be duping, the Benny's vehicle. No custom plates needed on that one. And you want to go ahead and throw a bunch of RH8s next to that one as well, all right, next to that car in the same garage. And you need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage or empty slots in your CEO garage uh, with the mod shop to actually save the vehicle. So you have some options there as well. But uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with the video. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean about getting those you know garages and stuff filled up in the proper way okay so here we go this is me right now and uh yeah so i wanted to dance a little bit for the beginning of the video but yeah so we're at the nightclub and i'm actually going to show you level b3 i'm using b3 i've seen people use b4 b3 so i'm assuming b2 should work as well but i'm going to be using b3 right here and once I go in, you're going to see how I have stuff set up. So you see I have a few RH8s here. I'm going to be overriding those, and I have one LG Retro Custom, which I'm going to be duping. So I'm just going to put that in slot one, and we're actually going to be duping into slot two. Okay, you're going to see what I mean later on. It's really, really cool how this works, okay? Uh, pretty. Uh, that part, I would say, is epic, okay? But this is how you want to set up your nightclub garage. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually exit out, and I'm going to head over to my 10 or 6 car garage that's somewhere else you know something that's not the facility or the bunker or anything like that um you want to actually store your other rh8s because we actually need to overwrite like rh8s twice in this glitch it's pretty weird how that works but we're doing a dupe to get to another dupe all right so in this garage this is the one we're actually starting out in i have a couple rh8s in here okay so remember you want rh8s in a separate 10 or 6 car garage a deluxo in another 10 or 6 car garage and then the nightclub set up as i did it you know before as i showed you so at this point right now i'm actually just ordering up another rh8 into the first slot because i already did the dupe once so once that happens that spot gets kind of weird i haven't looked into it too much but there's definitely something odd with the spot after you do the whole dupe glitch but starting out this is where the the glitch really does begin so you pull out the rh8 from this garage check out the plate 21 jyk 205 this this will be the plate on the dupe later on i believe okay if i'm not mistaken you know if i'm not uh you know mistaken so we're going to go ahead and grab a streetcar, leave the RH8 over there, and drive far away so that we can order up the Deluxo. If you've done the Deluxo dupe, you know a lot of these steps. I still recommend everybody watch the, the video in its entirety because you do need to know everything that's happening. When I first started doing this glitch, I just tried to jump into it, and I made a few mistakes right off the bat. All right, it took me like three tries. But anyways, what I just did right here is order up the Deluxo from the separate 10 or 6 car garage, okay? And you will not lose this Deluxo. Don't worry, we're duping it, all right? So don't worry. Now, this is the spot we're going to be going to over on the map. All right, so I should be fast forwarding here as we get over there. So at this point, we're going to make our way over to this wall breach. This is the same wall breach that I showed you in the last video that doesn't have any sort of death barrier at the moment, at least. So and it's really, really close to the airport, which is where we're going to be headed, you know, to begin with. So definitely a good location and a good spot to do this glitch. I'm going to show you once again here on the map. That's the garage. That's where we are. And that's where everything is on the map. All right. So we're going to be headed over to that little garage door right there. 
go ahead and enter hover mode and go at a decent speed and aim for the little crevice right there in the corner all right boom right there and you can just slide right through don't go too high because uh, you could you know go through and uh, completely exit the breach through the building so stay low uh, and then you want to go ahead and turn around and head back over to the airport all right so right now i'm making my way over to the airport and this is where we actually have to drop into the nightclub now i've gotten pretty decent at this i'm not gonna lie i've gotten really really good at this i can pretty much hit it every single time and i'm gonna show you what i meant in the last video that's the exact spot pretty much right there and i'm gonna show you what I do to actually measure up the spot and how I know I'm gonna hit it every time so it might just be a feel thing now but as you can see right now check it out you see this white line that I'm stopping at right here this white line on the mini map you want to be a little bit away from that if you're too close to that you're gonna miss the nightclub so you definitely want to be a good distance away from that but not too far and in the center all right of that line so as you can see right here I'm a decent ways away but not too far I'm getting a little too close so I'm definitely gonna readjust and I'm gonna go away from it and I think I'm pretty good right here so I'm just gonna take off hover mode and I should drop and fall right into the nightclub perfect if you fell through the map just do it again now I'm waiting for the mini map to get all screwed up it's gonna go dark boom now I press the gas hold R2 RT whatever the gas is for you hold it press it tap it do whatever you want and then once this black screen leaves you should spawn in with the deluxo and check it out you see the plate that is a brand new plate I had a real easy plate on there now it's a fresh generic plate okay so this is a duplicate right here so remember this right now because some people might get scared that they're gonna be losing their deluxos guys you're the original deluxo at this point went back to that 10 or 6 car garage that I ordered it from this deluxo is a dupe it has a fresh plate normally we would save this and that would be the deluxo dupe and that would be it but this is a retro version of this glitch but first to get to that retro version we for some reason have to dupe the deluxo first uh, still, I'm not complaining, man. Really cool and really easy, fast a solo duplication glitch. Right now, I'm making my way back over to the nightclub, okay, with this dupe, all right? We're not saving this dupe. We don't need to at all. We're making our way over to the nightclub, and remember that garage B3 that I set up before, all right? This is very important. Make sure you pay attention to these steps right here so you don't get mixed up and screwed up, and then you have to start over from the beginning. So I'm gonna wait in front of my garage to the nightclub. Now, I'm gonna go on my phone, and I'm gonna order up an RH8, and check out what slot I'm gonna put it in. So I'm gonna go to B3, the garage I showed you in the beginning of the video. I have the retro in slot one and the RH8 in slot two. I'm gonna go ahead and order another RH8 right over that RH8 in slot two, okay? Not over your retro, don't do that, bad idea. Order it over that car. Now drive this Deluxo into that same garage, B3, that we just ordered the new RH8 into, okay? And as I mean, I know a few of you can probably see where this is going. We're going to be putting it over that car that we just ordered. Okay, so you see slot two where I just ordered the RH8. We're going to go ahead and select that slot, slot two. And that's where we're going to put our Deluxo dupe. And check it out. It's glitched. You see that? There's no car there. Even though we just put a Deluxo right there, there's actually no car at the moment. So you want to go ahead and hurry up to that blue circle, press right D-pad, and we're actually going to be picking up the car in slot one, the dupe, or, you know, my retro, and putting it in slot two. Look at that. Just duped right in front of your eyes. Literally, just pick up the car in slot one and put it in slot two, just like that. Now we have a dupe, but check it out, and I wanted to show you this. You see how I have this generic plate, 42BN, 42BN? Those are generic plates, dirty dupes. Make sure you don't keep them like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the car in slot one. Believe it or not, the car in slot one is your actual new dupe. Drive it out, and remember the plate that I just had, 42BN? Look at the plate now when I drove out, 21JYK. That is the plate from the original RH8 in that six car garage that you saw in the beginning of the video. So as you can see right there, we're actually overriding an RH8 with a Deluxo, and then later on we're overriding a Deluxo with a Retro Custom and an RH8. So it's crazy how many cars are being overwritten at this point. But now you have a few options on how you wanna save the vehicle. Uh, you can either save it in the MOC that needs the personal vehicle storage. This can be empty or not, doesn't really matter. But as you can see right here, I'm gonna press right D-pad, drive in there, and the car is saved up. But you can also, if you have empty spots in your CEO garage, you can go ahead and actually save it over there, all right? But you do need a mod shop. Right when you drive your brand new dupe into the CEO spot that's empty, you wanna go ahead and press right D-pad as quickly as you can, get back in the car, right D-pad as quickly as you can, and then enter the mod shop, modify the vehicle in some way, and then you're good to go. The car is saved, so you can do it that way as well. 
Now, what I'm going to show you here is if you were going to rinse and repeat, I'm not going to do it, but if you were if you were going to rinse and repeat like most of you are, this is the original RHA garage that I showed you. Remember, this car is gone now. We've overridden it with the Deluxo. And remember how I said there's something weird with it. Check it out. When I go to order another RHA into this slot, look at that. It says there's one there already. But I just order a new one anyways. I got to do more investigating on what's actually happening in this garage. But if you wanted to rinse and repeat, you would just grab this RH8, drive it out, then get a streetcar, drive far away, and you guys know the deal, all right? That's all you got to do, okay? So uh, I think that's going to be it for me. Sorry, I just hit the mic there. I don't know if you guys heard that, but yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Get going on this solo dupe. Hopefully, we'll have it for the weekend. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace.